Other tabs are available, the resource sequence and the load chart. The resource sequence lists all the operations to schedule for one work center. Let's first select the resource we want to analyze. We will be able to view all pending or in-progress operations that have been partially tracked. Moreover, this tab allows you to change the sequence of operations with a simple drag and drop. The load chart is an inquiry of the load of the shop floor. It works like a pivot table in Excel. To display the load on different time scales per day, week, or per month. You can close this period to only display the global ratio between the load and the capacity on the period. The load can be viewed per work center or per work center group. Colors can be used to draw attention to a period that is close to full capacity. The capacity ratio is displayed in each cell. For instance, we can see that the work center LAB001 is fully loaded and the work center LAB005 is loaded at 118.75. Normally this is impossible to have an overload on a finite capacity work center because the scheduling is to ensure this is never the case.